What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fi with the man and Eric Sheets Haber. We're going to be talking through Monday night's uh, slate. Uh, just a quick showdown stuff because Sheets won't be here for live later. I will cover what I can on the live show. Um, but we thought we'd do a first look here for the uh, Monday night slate. Sheets, any overall thoughts on this game and this? Uh, it's I mean, it's a horrible game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this 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 had illusions of being uh, the preview of something. Um, yep. And now it's just kind of the preview of nothing. You know, it's uh, who, who do you think's got a bigger future in the NFL right now? Aaron Rodgers or Baker Mayfield? Um, <laughs> Neither. Well, actually Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, but yeah, I guess. Right. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, listen, Rody, hopefully he'll be on uh, with you later, maybe, because it is a Green Bay game. I know he gets up for the Green Bay games. And whether Green Bay is good, bad, or indifferent, they're going to pack 100, you know, 70, 60,000 people into two degree weather, you know, making it difficult for for, yep. for teams to come play. And uh, 500,000 is being offered up by the good folks of, well, by the good folks of, of us who is putting up the buy-ins uh, to, uh, to in the showdown slate. So uh, may as well uh, so may as well try to take it down. The, the one thing that I noticed, I did actually take a look at the at this slate a little bit earlier, is I don't want to say the lack of, but the, the real real cheapos don't I don't want to say don't really exist, but they're not that big of a deal. What was interesting is is the Rams. Yeah, the real the cheapos are ten k. That's why. <laughs> right. Well, this is the second time in three weeks that we've had a ram, the Rams on a showdown slate. Yeah. So we, I just feel as though we just spent a little time on the Rams, like just like last week. And what happened last week was really interesting. We, we, we talked through like six different receivers, not sure who was going to get the work and who, and it turns out that it completely got concentrated. You had a hundred percent of, you had Van Jefferson getting like a hundred percent of the snaps and Ben Swarnick at like 97% of the snaps. And, and then like the guys that we thought my, and, and Tutu Atwell, Got got like a got like the next amount I think it was sixty percent and then everybody else that we thought would kind of like dip in a little bit like didn't really exist like the Brandon um not the Brandon whatever the guy's name is the guy that, that I thought would uh, thought would get up there but he didn't really do much and and the um and the other guy Trammel didn't do anything either um so I'm I'm wondering if if you think that's if it's that's still going to be the case where it all gets concentrated in those guys. Or now maybe it's time for not McCutcheon, but there's another guy named it was Brent, oh Powell. That was the guy's name. Like Powell, we thought might get in there. He didn't really do much. So I wonder if people are going to over project guys like Atwell um, and Swarnick because they were just had such a big role last week. But you know it's week week to week to week, especially with a team that's not you know really playing for anything. So. Um, that, that that's that's the that's the one thing I noticed is that the Rams themselves, we, they we just got finished analyzing these guys to death, and yeah. and we're right back to it again. Um, and again, the other comment was that an overall lack of real super cheap value. Like like it, almost, it seemed like very recently that we had Randall Cobb at two hundred, right? Remember that? Like Randall yeah. Cobb was two hundred, and now he's you know priced like a normal like a normal player. Um, do you have any thoughts on, on, on the game itself? I mean, you have a game script you're looking at. I mean, what are you thinking of this game? I think that the, the, the green Bay is going to beat him pretty easily. Um, I, I think this is a nightmare situation for Baker. Uh, the, the Packers defense, definitely a priority for me. <laughs> um, uh, I like, uh, I, I think Atwell is my favorite of the Rams. I think other than then it's Van or score score Nick, as I have as my early look, um, I have Lazard or Watson. Um, maybe Lazard is a little bit lower owned captain than, than Watson. I think that's kind of interesting. And then I think I want to play Dylan and, and Jones in, in most of my lineups. And so here's, here's, let me, let me comment on both those things for a second. Cause I thought about both those last things quite, quite a lot. Um, so here's the way I think of the Lazard and Watson thing. So Watson has run really hot with respect to touchdown percentages, right? Like a huge amount of his, receptions relative to you know whatever normal percentages were touchdowns and there's two ways to look at that right one is that listen if you're playing gpps playing cash like or whatever it is like in the long run you know those those numbers have to kind of regress right that that he's not gonna be as efficient with touchdowns but like when you're talking about a one game sample you're going to showdown slate and and even though we you know not we but even though the statistics suggest that that would regress 
Aaron Rodgers and the Packers don't care about that. You know what I mean? Like, like they, they say every time I throw the ball, this guy gets us freaking touchdown. Why don't I just keep doing that? Right. So, so I think he's going to continue to get those touchdown looks as we get right. down there. Um, especially on a one game slate. Uh, so um, I, 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 but I do think, like you said, I think that Lazard as a lower owned captain, I think makes uh makes some sense. And in my first build, that's kind of what I got was, was Lazard is actually the, the highest captain. Now here's, let me, let me point to your, the running back things. So I think this is going to be a weird, a weird dynamic. So normally what happens is when you have two running backs on the same team, people will play one, one or the other, and they won't play them both. And what people do on a showdown slate in a situation like that is say, you know, I'm going to play both these guys together because maybe that's contrarian. I think that today it's the opposite. I think that the two of them are going to be played together probably because they, I guess they should be right. Um, so I think it's actually going to be sort of contrarian to only play one of them you know, as, as, as opposed to playing two of them. So um that, but but yes, I mean they're both, you know. Listen, and especially in a game script like this, um, I, I imagine that. Boy, you play a same game parlay. You bet on like both of them getting a touchdown. I mean, I think it's very. I mean, I would say probable, but maybe it's probable. I don't know. Um, I think it's, it's a legit time share, and they're both really good. You know, so yep. um, I'm probably not gonna. I'm I'm probably gonna try to in in the at least in the lottery not play them both together, just because I think it's gonna be kind of a popular way to go. Mm -hmm. um but i listen on pure projections they're probably the probably two of the probably the two best projection projected plays on the slate right mm -hmm. yeah um yeah i mean i i, I don't I, I, the easiest thing to do if you want to get off the chalk doing that i think that dylan ends up lower on than, than than uh jones does so you play him as captain i think there's enough ways to get different elsewhere this is definitely the kind of slate you could leave money on the table um, I don't see anybody that I want to play that badly, which is partly what's leading me to that, that, that conclusion. Um, but for what it's worth, both defenses are probably pretty, pretty similarly in play. I think that obviously the, the Packers stand out, but I don't think that people are playing the Rams. It's, it's, you know, kind of ugly, icy weather there. It just, it seems like Baker in that kind of a game. It just, it's, how is he going to succeed? Like, I don't know how it's going to work for him. Um, yeah. uh, the, by the yeah. way, the other guy I forgot to mention, the other guy that was on the field a bunch, obviously, for the Rams is uh, was Higby. Um, and look, he hasn't really done much recently. But the fact is, I mean, like you said, Baker's going to be Baker's going to be having to throw the ball pretty, somebody. pretty early. You know what I mean? Like yeah. uh, and he's got to throw to somebody. And you know what? The Probably the closest guy to him is, is going to be Higby. <laughs> so um, uh, what do you think of the. Um, well. What do you think of the, of the other, any other receivers on Green Bay besides Watson and Lazard? Do you like, like, do you like Randall Cobb? Do you like Tunyon at, at tight end or, or not so much? No, um, I, I like Lazard and Cobb the best. I'm sorry, Lazard and Watson the best. Um, every, all the other pricing guys, it's, it's kind of tricky with Dobbs back now. It's because you, you could, you could argue for Dobbs, I guess, but I think it's just all mucked up now more than it was. Um, it's actually like when you look at it, like it's like not that bad of a receiving core. Like I don't mind Lazard and what Watson. I think is awesome. I don't think there's anything fluky about what's happening with him. Um, okay. I think he's like a he's like a legit stud um, who just happens to get more looks towards the end zone because that that's sort of like has been his role. But he's he's been unbelievable. Um, uh, I, the the other weird get you know cheapo play for me that I would take some shots on. I would consider uh, a long shot play on Bryson Hopkins for the for the Rams. And I would consider a long shot play on Malcolm Brown for the Rams. Yeah, those um, I, I looked at both those guys. Um, the I just uh, I think that the Bryce Hopkins was really I don't know I think I think the fact that he only played like very few amount of snaps last week um, relative to Higby. Oh, he's it, only going to play a very few amount of snaps. Yeah, um, um, he'll play some with his Higby as well. They'll they'll run. You, you could also I mean. Well, those 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 are Rams guys, and Malcolm Brown. I guess we he's like the third running back. Um, I, I guess Kyron Kyron Williams. Would, well, let, let's talk about that. Last time we did this, right? I think we both uh, captain, or at least more than the field, Cam Akers. Um, it's the Packers have given up a lot of ground uh, uh, to the to the run this year. Okay. And I think that that in general, the Rams would like to run the ball if, in fact, they could. They um, definitely will try. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to that. Uh, I'm gonna go back to that type of idea. 
and just say, let me, let me, let me, I think he's self-correlating. You know what I mean? If he does well early, he'll, he'll, he'll continue to get fed. Right. Um, so I'll go back to that. Um, I think Tyron Williams is just kind of okay. I'd, ra I'd rather play, you know, Cam Akers and hopefully they actually establish the running game than have to worry about getting, I don't know, backfield passes from Tyron. But maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe if the Packers yeah. are going to bring that kind of heat, and my, my comment is, well, just throw it to him, he's going to be the closest guy. Maybe Kyron Williams is actually going to be the closest guy. Um, so, I don't know um, why, yeah, I don't know why we're rating. I don't see, like, I think Williams and Brown are like the same play, and one guy is that right? plus 7K more than the other guy does. Okay. I don't see them as being, uh, it, it could, it could, by the end of the day, Malcolm Brown could be the, the number one running back for the Rams, and Kieran Williams could be, could be the number one running back, and most likely Cam Akers still is, but. It's not necessarily, it's like 50, 50, I think <laughs> like it changes every week with the Rams and they've had literally cupcake matchups, the best running back matchups in football. Um, and, and that's why acres played a little bit better, but now you have another good one against green Bay and they're yeah. going to run it. They're going to try to run it a lot, which makes me like the, like talk myself into more and more of this Malcolm Brown thing. Um, it also fits a blowout narrative, uh, a guy who can catch passes out of the backfield. So I, I actually am going to talk myself into the Malcolm Brown spend down, I think. Let me take a look at him. Has he gotten any any rushes? Yeah, he got he got one one. He carry. Had two catches last week. Is every bit as much work yeah. as, as Kieran Williams? <laughs> yeah, I guess so, huh? Just about. I mean, hey, uh, well, listen, listen for that price and giving it to showdown. It's basically the same. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, uh, I like that. I think that's not. A, I think that's a good idea, actually. Um, yeah, and, and there's a path where he ends up being the highest scoring of all their running backs on the Rams. Very, very possibly. Could be. Could be. Um, it's just it just the Rams have just huge variants like with their running backs, and you'll see like there were some weeks where Ky Kyron Williams was the main running back and Acres was barely playing. Like it's just very strange what they've been doing all year long. Uh, uh, but it's because they can't run. So I, I also wanted to just throw in that I, I do like the the, the Packers build. With, I know it's going to be have some ownership, but both running backs Crosby and um, the defense I think are are a really good place to start with. Um. Tight ends for Green Bay include Tanyan, but they they have the other the other dark throws. The uh, I want to say Jared Vicious, not Jared Vicious. Some some guy that sounds like a J, and then um, and then uh, the uh, the Mercedes the Mercedes uh, Mercedes Lewis. He's been there forever. Uh, what? He's been there. He forever. has, and, and he and he and he won a showdown slate several years ago. He's won, he's won a few of them. I think he's I think that's been his best thing. He's actually a pretty good like blocking tight end. But he doesn't, you know, he's never really been like the main receiver guy. He went to UCLA, so I know his game pretty well. Oh, is that right? Um, yeah. So he was like, and that was when I was heavily into college football. So he, um, yeah. But he was not. He was. He always really talented and everything, but not, 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 not like a huge pass catcher. But if you want to do that, my, my question would be: if we're gonna no. get one of the two hundred guys, why wouldn't we just jump up to play Malcolm Brown at? 20? Yeah, I agree. I think that's the right thing to do. I um, totally agree. Or you could play. I hope one of the other running backs gets banged up or blow out, and Patrick Taylor gets there. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. Right. Um, yeah, but it should be kind of a fun one. Hopefully, have another good night. Keep the keep the momentum rolling. Sheets. Anything? Dude, I, I, I have like a I have like a ridiculous like play. So, if you had a lineup with say, what's the guy's name? The other guy, not Malcolm Brown. The other dude. Um, uh, Karen Williams. Right. So, if you had say a a Karen Williams lineup like this, just for whatever. Okay. If you like, just turn Karen Williams into like Malcolm Brown. And, and did nothing else and left like eight million on the table or something like that. Yeah. I mean, like you said, he project he probably is gonna score the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, like you're definitely asking for trouble, but listen, what, what was it this past week? How about what what eleven thousand left on the table when the when the show yeah. slate or something? I think it was like more that. than that. I, I think, think it was 14-4, actually. Yeah, that's right. I think that sounds right. Yeah. 14 4 was Ramondre. This, this is the kind of slate that could absolutely happen. Could be. <laughs> Um, I could definitely see that one. So, yeah, so it should be a fun night. we got a lot of NBA. Uh, hopefully, you guys check out the NBA video. Please like and subscribe. We do have an NBA contest that you can join through our Discord. Sheets posted it earlier. And uh, with that, let's have a good day, everybody. Good luck.